Another virus is on the rise. H1N2 is coming to get you. No, not really, guys. But one thing you need to understand is that H1N2 is actually a subset of the virus of the H1N1 swine flu. You may remember about a decade ago that the swine flu was this big and scary thing, and all of a sudden, it fell off the curve. Everyone quit talking about it. What came next? Ebola, followed by COVID-19. But one thing that we are starting to see is the, the these cases. They're coming out of the United Kingdom, of all places, the UK. What we are realizing and seeing is that it's no longer just pig, known as swine, being transmitted to humans, but now humans to humans are transmitting this virus. You know, originally it was thought that only pigs could give it to humans and, and that was it. But now it's human to human. Now it is endemic, so it's not like it's going to turn into this huge pandemic uh, ordeal like COVID did. But, you know, we are going to see this on the news here. It's winter time, guys. What do you expect? People are getting strep throat. People get hand, foot, and mouth disease. People get strep throat. People get the flu. That's what this is. The swine flu, or H1N1, H1N2, is exactly what it is. It's an influenza. It's the flu. Now, does it cause some upper respiratory issues? Yeah, you're going to feel like shit if you get it. But your chance of dying over it is super, super, super minimal. Going to be honest with that. You can fact check me. Look it up. It's not like you're going to get this and now you're going to be stuck in quarantine and mandatory isolation. No. You know, the flu is actually droplet precaution. It's not airborne. It's also not contact. Well, it can kind of be contact, but it's mainly droplet. COVID is droplet. Now, there's the argument that COVID's also airborne, but at the end, it's still droplet-based. Um, that's That's what it is. Now, the United States actually had an H1N2 case here back in August. Uh, so we've already had it here. I'm sure there's a lot of people who's already had it and was never tested for it because they're like, I just got the flu. I feel like crap. You know, don't forget about chicken popcorn along. That also happens from the people who are cleaning the coops out of the chickens. Um, you know, yeah, animals, they taste good when you eat them if you're into that type of stuff. <laughs> But, yeah, some precautions do need to be taken, let's be honest. You know, if you're dealing with pigs, wash your damn hands. Um, don't let them sneeze in your face. Stuff like that. We had the bird flu, the swine flu. I mean, it's not like this is becoming Ebola or Marburg. You know, there's no need to break out the BSL level 4 hazmat suits now. <laughs> but, just wanted to bring it to your attention that, hey... It's on our radar. We see it. Austin said about it. Austin talked about it. And that's it. If this was to become more of a massive ordeal, okay, yeah, well, then we'll, we'll expand that. But right now, it's just the flu.